The new coach knows he must now get results, but is under no illusions. Instilling confidence in his side is the key. I need to adapt myself to the current conditions to try and bring forth at least the minimum amount of confidence, stability, and to see things as they are. There are no magic spells, at least I don't think there are, that will help us get past times like these. We need to work and work positively. As Belgium prepared for the match against Holland, the atmosphere was full of expectation, and there was already a great respect for the new man in charge. I think firstly that Vesega is a coach who wants to turn the tables and secondly he is a very good coach who communicates freely with the group. This is because he doesn't have much time to prepare the team for the matches against Holland and Morocco and despite the situation he has to do it quite quickly. This is a big challenge for him to undertake but I'm sure that he'll do it very well. One man who's sure to be impressed with Vasiga is Jackie Peters, now playing in the Bundesliga with Armenia Bielefeld. Peters was a hero for Genk in the cup final two seasons ago and earns his first international call-up. His former teammate Branko Strupar is another recent addition to the Belgian squad. Strupar is the current Belgian player of the year, having made his debut at half-time in the friendly against Finland, Lekan's last match. The Croat turned Belgian will be hoping for his first start against Holland. The players know this match will be tough, but it's a challenge they're relishing. Uh, we don't have the talent of, uh, of the national team of, of, the, of Holland, but I think we can prove something else uh, to them. Your match commentator then, at an expectant the Koip Stadium, is Peter Brackley. It's the 121st meeting between two of Europe's oldest adversaries, here in the ground that will house the final of Euro 2000. Two teams who certainly are in need of a boost after recent results. It's nearly a year since the Dutch last tasted victory. Belgium's poor run, of course, cost George Leakins his job. A check on the team news. After experiments with the home base players, Holland's coach, Frank Rijkaard, has returned to his foreign legion and to 10 of the players from the World Cup squad. The 11th Van Bronckhorst of Glasgow Rangers continues in the problem left back position. There are injuries to Sadorf and Overmars, but they're offset by the return of Davids from suspension as well as Bergkamp. Belgium's new coach, Robert Vasiga, has made several changes from the team he inherited from Leakins. There's a first cap for Peters in defence, a first start for Croatian born striker Strupar, he's Belgium's footballer of the year, and a recall for wing back De Flandre. Up front, Empenza will be Strupar's partner. Edgar Davids wearing glasses as he's suffering from glaucoma at the moment. The referee is Urs Meyer from Switzerland. Holland then to get us underway, kicking from right to left. Just one win under Rijkaard, and that was against Peru 11 months ago. Since the World Cup, Belgium have lost six of their ten games, but also just one victory recorded. So both teams really in need of an upturn in fortune. Terrific pass here by Kleibert. Scintillating start by Holland, Patrick Kleibert. Only a whisker away from opening the scoring. Sheer determination took him clear of Peters, the new man in the Belgian side. Kleibert with 15 goals for his country. And a title winner, of course, with Barcelona in Spain. That was Frack de Boer. Seeking Kleibert. was De Flandre, but a foul by Edgar Davids, who went right through the back of her hair. Edgar Davids seems to have sustained some kind of injury himself, too, as he collided then with Verheyen. Starland's taking the free kick then for Belgium. Oh, the poor slip, and Penza! Was gifted an opportunity there. Here's Wilmots, plays his club football with Schalke in Germany. And Penza, right across the face of goal and no teammate able to make a connection. But the Dutch defence looking decidedly vulnerable early on here. That was Van Brockhorst. Now the hand on his way. And Penza bursting into the centre, Strupar beyond him. This is Strupar. Oh, what's a goal! Terrific shot from Strupa. 
Ratko Strupa from Gek. It's only his second cap. He's been a prolific scorer at club level over the past couple of seasons. And now he's brought it to the international stage. Strupa, a naturalised Belgian. He's been in the country five years. Born in Croatia. That's a stunning finish. Eight minutes in. De Flandre. And your movement up front from Verheyen. Doing some good work down this near side. Van der Heyen. Now that Kirkhoven. He has been a superstar for Belgium. Van der Sar forced into another save, this time from Vilmots. Matt Kirkhoven finding Vilmots, who's turned well. Didn't quite get hold of it, though. Up goes Kleibert, out jumped. Verheyen. Plays for Bruges. He's their top scorer so far this season. Here's De Flandre. He's been recalled to help shore up the team's defence on this right side. After featuring in the World Cup finals, he'd been out of favour. One by Van der Heij. Good football again from Belgium. Van Kirkhoven to Mpenza. Strupar in the centre. This is Strupar. And it's a second goal. Van der Sar thought he saved it, it flew in off him, and Belgium have a two-goal lead just before the half-hour mark. The disconsolate figure of Edwin van der Sar, and equally so, that of Frank Rijkaard, the coach, and Penzo with the cross in. Seemed to be off balance, it was a superb header from Struppa, and van der Sar can't keep it out. First goals for his country. Yep, stab. Striding purposefully forward now for Holland. That'll be a free kick. Bearcat wanting to take it quickly. Yep, stab of Manchester United. On by Koku. This time it's the defence on. Patrick Kleibert. Starlands, who's gone into the back of him. Starlands, the veteran, 35-year-old, back in Belgium's defence, having retired after the World Cup. They persuaded him to have a change of heart. Now, will it be Bearcamp? It is straight at the wall, though, but then it's Davids. Oh, it's sneaked in! Oh. Dreadful defending by Belgium. A lot of fingers being pointed accusingly. Among those defenders, and certainly from goalkeeper Philippe van der Waal. But to the relief of Frank Rijkaard, Holland are back in the game at 2-1. It really was a soft goal, driven in by Davids. The danger seemed to have passed. The keeper presumably unsighted as it rolled past him, almost trickled past him into the net. Kleiber. Here's Zenden of Barcelona. Now Davids. Plays his club football in Serie A, of course, in Italy with Juventus. Oh, it's a super rock two by Davids. He might go all the way here. Hey, Davids, and he has! Fabulous goal! Magnificent! Davids to make it 2-2. Two -two. Three minutes from half-time. It's a wonderful individual skill from Davids. The ball seemed to be tight to his foot. Pass one, pass two, pass three, pass four. Fantastic. Just picked his way through before poking the ball past substitute goalkeeper Hertwell. Hertwell on his debut for his country. Welcome to the international arena. Free kick to Holland. Van der Haag, who was the culprit. De Boer taking the free kick. This is Reisiger. Made off by Bearcat. Now Reisiger again. 
Clyford is in the centre, so too here is Dennis Burkett. Brilliant play by Burkett. Zetman going in, and it's away from the corner. I think it's a pushing from Zenden. But it's a much different Holland team now. Really in vibrant mood. Great work from Burkett. Zenden was leaning in. But Hayen in pursuit. De Boer is there. Holland's captain, Frank De Boer. The casual appearance from Van der Sar, who's now with the Avengers, of course, in Italy. Having moved on from Ajax for £5 million back in the summer. Strupa. Starlands. Now De Boer breaking. Burkamp sprinting through the centre. This is Burkamp. And Clemens, who will not score an easier goal than this. 3-2. They have turned it round. Burkamp with all the hard work here. The keeper a little unlucky. And it fell so invitingly for Patrick Clivert. And even I would have got close from there. De Boer sliding it through to Bearcat. They're appealing for offside. The flag stayed down. Did rather flap it, actually, the substitute keeper. There is Clyber. The game seems to have a couple of stats to it. Clyber, it's a rapid Holland team now. Off goes De Boer. He's won the corner. Off Van Kirkhoven. Stam has come up from the back. Number three, Yap Stam. Here is Ronald De Boer. Five goals, three for the Dutch, two for Belgium. A very open first half has dramatically swung Holland's way. And a goal to savour from Edgar Davids. They'll remember this one for a long, long time to come. Lazy dribble here from Davids. As Holland turned the game round, and they lead at half-time by three goals to two in Rotterdam. Welcome back to the second half from Rotterdam, this friendly international between old rivals, Holland and Belgium. The two teams, of course, are jointly hosting the Euro 2000 finals next year. Holland 3-2 up at the halfway stage. Once again, charitable defending by Belgium. They've had a terrible run lately, culminating, of course, in the sacking last month of coach George Liekens after a 4-3 home loss to Finland. But they're on the attack here straight away. Two up in the first half, 3-2 down at the break. Verheyen with a cross. That was Mpenza. But no problem for Edwin van der Sar. En soutien, public. This is the coach from the Vaziga. A tough task on his hands. That's good link up play. There's a chance here, and a goal too from Gore. Bart Gore. 3-3. His first international goal. He's been a regular in the team lately. A former striker, now converted into a midfielder. That was finishing at the highest order as he sprinted through here and drove it well, beneath Edwin van der Sar. And it's Holland's defence which has been opened up this time. Sliced apart. A delightful finish by Bart Gore from Anderlecht. Well, we hope for goals. We've had six of them so far. De Boer. Belgium on their way again. There's a clash in midfield. The Hayen and Davids. Davids, who the referee has decided is a guilty party. He's trying to show him the yellow card. It is indeed a caution for Davids. 
his stunning goal was the highlight of the first half. He got the uh, one of the others as well. Bring his international tally to four. On his 25th appearance for his country. Van der Haag. There's no offside flag. And Petzer might be another one here. It is too. Scored by Vilmots. This topsy-turvy match takes another twist to the delight of the Belgian fans. There aren't that many of them in the stadium tonight. Those that are here are loving this now. Mark Vilmots ghosting it to score. It's his 12th goal for Belgium. He's proved himself a good Bundesliga player with Schalke. Had a good World Cup too. Got a couple of goals against Mexico, I remember. And he slotted that one in comfortably enough. Kirkhoven. Stab. The tackle was late for Vilmots. Very thankful for Giovanni Van Rockhorst. Rankar looking incensed on the touchline. Caution for Vilmots. He mistimed that tackle completely. But it was dangerous, no question about it. De Boer with a free kick, Bearcamp, then Kleibert. That was Koku. Now Zenden. One more dithering at the back, which could go punish yet. Oh. Whacked in by Kleibert, but dreadful defending by Belgium. Peters on his debut, all at sea. Kleibert has taken full advantage. Here's the first miscue, that's Van Kirkhoven. As it's played across, Haters completely missed kicks. Well, Kleibert certainly did. Four, four. Haters. Expected goals, but not this many. Who says there won't be more to come? Here's Gore. Not the score sheet already for Belgium. Penzer comes flying in far post. And a good pairing with Strupa in the second half of the last game against Finland. And certainly the two of them have been dangerous again this evening. who was the last of the Ajax 95 Euro World Club Cup teams to leave. There's Van Nistelrooy of PSV Eindhoven, the Dutch league's leading scorer last season, 32. He's got five already in the new season, including three in the first game. That cut over three kick. Davids looking to launch another Holland attack. That needs to Roy. Teasing ball in the market was slapped, and the punishment was dished out again by Clovert, who collects his hat trick. His first for Holland. The Boer with a cross, he's picked out Clovert, no defender has. Expertly placed, nonetheless, by Kleibert. Beyond Herpwell. Well, you wonder what's coming next with this game. De Boer. Will Dungeon be exposed again? Some of their defending tonight has been woeful. Not that Hollands has been much better. Bell for Hayen. Koku left his leg trailing. The Swiss referee is standing for no nonsense. It'll be a caution for Koku. A matter of the Barcelona contingent. The little wingers tackle that one. Can Belgium strike back again? 
Pens up. Here's the answer. 5-5. Five, five. Static defending by Holland this time. And Penza has cashed in. It's only his third goal for his country. But he won't forget it. In his truly remarkable scoreline. Holland struggling to get it away. Just slipped through by Bill Motz. And thumped it by Umpenza. Holland 5, Belgium 5. Not too many would have forecast that scoreline beforehand. Here's Koku. Maybe Holland hadn't finished yet. De Boer. Now that destroy. Moves caught in by Vilmot, who has already been cautioned and will now be sent off. The drama continues. Ten goals, and now a sending off as well. Van Nistelrooy caught by Vilmots, who went in too aggressively. Here comes Pierre van Hoydon in place of the hat-trick hero Patrick Kluivert. Hopkins on for the Flandre for Belgium. Davids. Penza came away with it, but not for long. Davids again. This goal remains the best of the ten. But there have been some excellent finishes elsewhere, too. The two coaches, oh, they'll be wondering about their teams defending. It's been abysmal. Strupa. They've been a catch out Van der Sar, and tonight anything is possible. Strupa on a hat trick himself, remember, having scored the first two in this game. This extraordinary 10-goal thriller ends in a draw. Kleibert with three for Holland, Davids with two, Strupa with a double for Belgium. Wonderful entertainment for the spectators, but the coaches, I'm sure, will be tearing their hair out. It's finished Holland 5, Belgium 5.